It's clear that Lorient has made its mark on the international sailing map. But how did it all start? The Keraman base was built during World War II by the Germans, who chose Lorient as a strategic base for their submarines. After the war, this area was so well equipped to host submarines that the French Navy moved into the base and used it for the next 50 years. When the Navy left in 1997, we worked on turning the site into a professional sailing centre. Offshore legend and Lorient native Alain Gauthier was one of the first to see the potential in this Brittany port. When I saw the submarines leave in 1997, I realised there was a lot of space available, big pontoons that were interesting for us. So I asked for a spot. Back then we could not imagine how sailing could be as professional as it is now. Sailing legend and father of French yachting, Eric Tabelli, inspired many sailors with his achievements. One of them being Frank Camas. I first heard about offshore racing after reading a book by Eric Tabelli. It told the story of the round the world race, the first whip read 40 years ago in 1972 on Penduic 6. I read this book many times and it was what made me want to sail. With his victory here in Lorient, Frank Camus not only wrote a new page in sailing history, but also took a step closer to joining the elite band of skippers to have won the Volvo Ocean Race. <laughs> 